My journalism degree and my work here at Ryerson um, really did help to uh, advance my career. I used to, because I got into more documentary media rather than um, uh, mainstream news media, I used to regret not having taken the uh, Masters of Documentary Film, but I realized um, that when I was here we had such amazing teachers and instructors who had really strong backgrounds in journalism, broadcast, print, magazine, etc. Um, and I think it always kept coming back to um, how to tell a story and give it that narrative arc and m more than often we'd have a lot of professors or a lot of reporters say to us, why should anyone give a shit about your story? And when I do my documentary film, I'm always mindful of that question and I think it helps me um, with my, narr my narrative arc and my structure. I guess the most challenging part of my documentary films is probably the pressure that I put on myself as an indigenous woman to be able to cover them in a way that is both culturally sensitive, um, insightful, inspiration. I feel like I have a lot of accountability back to our communities. But moreover, when mainstream and Canadian audiences watch them, I want them to understand where we're coming from. So those are all priorities in my work.